All right, scrappers. I just scrapped a bunch of computers. Ah. Now I got a whole bunch of other computer crap to finish scrapping. So I figured I'd make a quick little video. This is a CD-ROM drive out of a, I believe it was a Dell computer. Dell always has these nice flippy flappy Kermit the Frog tongues here. Help you pull your drives out. Now, spring steel like this stuff usually is 400 grade stainless. And since I pay for trash removal and a lot of this plastic isn't really recyclable, it gets recycled somewhere, but my transfer station just takes it. This is 400 grade stainless. And a little screwdriver. After you scrap a couple hundred of these, you kind of get quick at them. We got some tin. This plastic and foam can stay right on there. I don't want to lose my magnet. And it's kind of weird, even though they're all on the same computer. You know, you open them up, even though these are no, these are different. You know, sometimes you open them up and they're different. It's like the company's ordering boards from different countries, or it seems like everyone I look at is always different. Like a like a scrapper snowflake. They're all different. And this is what I want. Oh no, where'd it go? I don't know what it was, probably just a little piece of plastic. This is only silk screened on one side. And I'm not seeing anything too good on here. No gold contacts. Um, I know I should probably be clipping these silver ends off. Nice little switchy switch there. This is just China board. It's um, low grade circuit board. Green silk screen on one side, not on the other. A nice little copper bearing motor here. Let's break it right out. And some more number two insulated. And another nice circuit board. I know I really should wear gloves. I got all these new little cuts here. Look at that. That was a good bleeder right there. I never wear gloves. I'll never learn. Now, all these pins are gold-plated. They're gold-plated brass, I believe. Um, And all these are... I don't know if you can see them. All those are monolithic ceramic capacitors. I'll be doing a scrapping video in the future on this. And this looks way too shiny to be lead. That might even be silver solder. So, uh, this is going in the house. Scrapyard, don't get this one. Got anything else? Some more number two insulated. And these rods that the carriage here slider rides on. Sometimes these are brass. No, a magnet sticks to them. Sometimes those are brass, like nickel plated brass. So always check them with a magnet. On the older hard, I mean, uh, on the older CD ROMs, they are. This is a, a newer one. Oh, another copper bearing motor. And these rods just pull out. These rods are 400 grade stainless also. And this doodad right here that the laser head's on, I usually just call this copper bearing. And there's only one more thing in here I want. Then the rest will go in the tin bucket, plastic and all. I want this number two insulated. On a screw. I didn't think this bit would 
get that little screw out. I want this. Ugh. I don't mess around here. And this. Um. Oh, that's neat. Hear it? Listen. Those are for balancing. They're little ball bearings. I'm going to throw this in my low grade circuit board bucket. Not in my copper bearing bucket. Because uh, there's a stuff load of copper inside of this. And it's, you know, it's not really worth me plucking it out. Nah, I'll call it copper bearing. So, right, plastic and all. So I got some, some copper bearing. Got some number two insulated. This is a good board. This goes inside. I'll be stripping all that out. Probably tonight. I'll... I'll do a future video showing you how to do all this and all the ceramic capacitors and tell you what all that stuff's worth. I got some, got some tin from tin bucket. I got some copper bearing. Some uh, low grade circuit board. See my copper bearing? So I don't break too much off. Save some of that plastic on there. It adds weight. And they don't really care. They just some uh, number two insulated they just ship it over to like third world countries and you know China takes their time and takes it all apart oh wait magnet does not stick to these these ones are brass no nope. uh, they're just really high grade low grade stainless that's funny high grade low grade stainless they're still 400 grade stainless. Or maybe low grade brass. So, uh, screws go in the screw bucket. And this stuff all goes in this bucket down here. Or no, that bucket. So, just remember guys, scrap is everywhere. All you have to do is find it and sort it and hoard it. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.